Most of us have it. We can cut it, color it, braid it, style it, or even change the shape and texture of it using heat. But how does that work exactly? If you've ever curled or straightened your hair and wondered how that worked, this is your chance to find out. In this video, we will be demonstrating the chemistry behind hair modification using heat. Before we start, let's talk about safety. So because the straightener generates a fair amount of heat, an exothermic reaction by the way, we need to make sure Gabby doesn't get burnt. To do this, we will place a small towel around her neck. Let's make sure we cover all exposed skin. To ensure that Gabby's hair is protected from the heat of the straightener, we will use this Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Heat Protection Spray with Silk to spray on Gabby's hair to prevent it from being heat damaged. Now let's get the hair modifying! An important fact you should know about hair is that one third of the hair's strength comes from hydrogen bonding. And even though hair shape is reliant on the shape of the follicle, it is the hydrogen and disulfide bonds which keep the hair in the shape in which it was formed. The disulfide bonds hold the hair's proteins together, while the hydrogen bonds are easily breakable with the addition of heat or water, and this allows us to shape and texture our hair. So right now, as I'm curling Gabby's hair, I'm breaking apart the hydrogen bonds that are holding her hair in the naturally straight shape that it comes in. In this instance, I'm using heat to break apart the hydrogen bonds. The heat broke the hydrogen bonds because when we raise the temperature, we increase the kinetic energy of the hair molecules, and this caused the bonds to weaken. As a result of this breaking of bonds using heat, when the hair is cooled, the hair cools in the shape that we created and the hydrogen bonds were formed in whatever new shape we made. Now I'm going to show you the second way that hydrogen bonds in hair can be broken. As you saw, I just dipped the curled piece of Gabby's hair in water. When I dipped Gabby's curled hair in the water, I broke apart the hydrogen bonds holding her hair in the new curly shape that I had previously created with the straightener. Her hair will temporarily stay in the curly shape that I created until water or water vapor from humidity or rain penetrates the hair fiber and allows hydrogen bonds to revert to their natural position and make her hair straight again. Intermolecular forces, forces of attraction between particles. Intermolecular force that is used to change the shape of the hair in this video is hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding, a weak bond between two molecular molecules resulting from electrostatic attraction between a protein in one molecule and an electronegative atom in another. Hydrogen bonds is a special type of dipole-dipole attraction. Hydrogen can approach electronegative atoms very closely due to a small number of electrons. Remember, hydrogen bonds occur between a hydrogen atom and three other atoms, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. Biology of hair. Hair consists of three distinct microscopic regions that can be seen underneath a microscope. Cuticle. The outer layer is multiple scales that are laid down like tiles on a roof. Cortex. The main hole of hair has a cigar-shaped cell, which is a type of keratin. Medulla. A honeycomb structure of a protein that contains air pockets, which run continuously through the cortex. The structure of hair and the hydrogen bonds to hold it all together is what allows us to be able to shape and texture it in the way that we have shown you today. Thanks for watching.